Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelley -ins. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring me, your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. Y'all, today, 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 we're having some sausage, some rice, some cucumbers, and some yellow bell peppers or orange. Mukbang! Y'all, your girl is hungry and it's in the evening time. I kind of ate a little bit earlier this morning, went to the doctor and things of that nature, ripped and ran and ran and ripped. And now your girl has ran so much, she's conquered up a good appetite. So we're going to pray over the food and the drink. And I got the dipping Dame sauce right here. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, it's time to reorder. I'm going to pray over this stuff and I'm going to get to eat and chowing down and let y'all go, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, O God, for the food and the drink that you've placed before me. I pray that it may be nutritious to my body and that it will not cause any hurt, harm, or danger to me in any way. In the mighty and holy name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, I'm a little hot for some reason. Let me give it a little drink. Mm. This is some lime drink. I know you probably can't, probably can't see it because of the green screen, which I'm getting my, my blue screen in a mint tip. And I've got some Dasani sparkling white peach in here. I got this idea from my girl, Sharika B, the um, Eating Pretty ASMR. I love her channel, y'all. I just have become obsessed with her channel. But anyway, I got some scotch bonnet right here, y'all. I love that too. I got this from my girl, Steph and Tasha. And they got it from my girl, Miss Diversity 3. My girl, Lady Boy Keisha. I love her as well. So how y'all doing today, Lee Shillians? What y'all eating on with me on today? Y'all, my baby was supposed to be doing this video with me, but he said he tired. He's in the garage. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Your boy Cardine is in the garage working on our lawnmower. Child, the lawnmower is broke and he can't he's trying to fix it, child. But he's pretty handy. I'm just making fun. He's very, very handy. Mmm. These are his sausage. These three sausages that I sliced up. I thought they were so cute. I saw that my boy um, Ryan, black denim. That's uh, my girl Sharik's brother. And I saw his sausage. It looks so good. I said, oh, that's so pretty and creative. Let me, let me do that. Y'all know we follow behind each other. We copy off of each other, but we bring our own swag to the platform, okay? It's okay, y'all. It's okay. Mm. Cucumber. Mm. Jalapeno pepper, jalapeno. Fresh one. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm hungry, okay? So, these are my baby sausages. They're blue ribbon. And initially, he was going to do the video with me, but he talking about, I need to go fix on that lawnmower. I need to cut the grass. 
So you're trying to rip and fix on it because the grass is growing, it's getting high, but it's about to rain. You can tell outside, it's cloudy outside and um, they say it's gonna bring a cold front here in Houston. So, so I say, child, bye. I'm gonna go record, cause it's getting late. Mm -mm. And your girl got to be at work in the morning. My sausages are egg rich beef, skinless sausage. Mm. Mm. Yo, I realized that I had like a little tear in my little shirt that I got from the thrift store. I didn't notice it at the time I purchased it, but it's all right, because it was only what? Yep, 25 cents. It's all good. But y'all, thank you guys for watching the video on yesterday. Thank you. It was late. No, well, a little bit. But it's okay. I still got it in for you. Please tell you. Thank you all of you who leave comments all the time. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the encouraging words about that pie, that Kool-Aid pie. It was so good to me. And those prawns I ate. Thank you for the encouraging words. I appreciate that. I really do. So y'all, I want to talk about, I know I had a, a very passionate um, story time on yesterday's video about when I saw that Netflix um, documentary documentary about the young, young boy, eight-year-old Gabriel Fernandez. And I was very passionate about that when I saw that, that documentary. But... I hope you guys had a chance to go and watch it. They have like different episodes, so you may not be able to watch it all in one day. If you work and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I do want to talk about, that led me to bring up, up a topic of discussion. Just want to know your thoughts on that about, what is it? Is it called blended family, y'all? Is it called blended families when you are like, like when you're married, like my husband and I, we're married and my two children are not his. I think that's what it's called, a blended family. So y'all, my husband, he doesn't have any children of his own. No biological children at all. Or shall I say that we know of, okay? But, no, seriously speaking, he doesn't have any. We would we would have known by now, hopefully. And a lot of times, it's hard to come into a relationship with someone who has children already on either side. I know y'all thinking like, okay, well, it's always the woman that has kids, but a lot of times you'll be surprised to know or to find that you'll find some women who don't have any children and then the man has a lot of kids, you know? And that he's very active in their lives as well. And the woman, you'll find that she doesn't have any. It's not all the time where the men doesn't have any and the woman does. Cause you know, most men have a lot of kids, most, not all. My husband doesn't see, so and he's 52, he'll be 53, God willing in May. So you'll find some men that don't have any kids at all as well as women. But when you get together with someone who has children, sometimes that could be a, a strain. It can cause problems, you know, if they don't get them, the kids don't um, gravitate to that particular uh, adult on either end, you know, sometimes it can cause a problem, you know? Especially the older the kids are. And so, Relationships, let alone marriages, are already hard sometimes because the devil doesn't want marriages to flourish in the first place. He don't want it to, you know, to be successful. 
So he, he throws all types of distractions and darts and bends in the road in your in your way when you're married. Or when you're, uh, or when you're preparing to get married, you know, when you are thinking about getting married. You know, the devil doesn't like marriages at all. Oh. Sometimes it's already kind of hard, you know? But then you add, you know, kids to the, to the picture, whether they're small children or teenagers or adults. Sometimes it can be hard, y'all. You know, make sure they get along, you know, you know, mm -hmm. they'll be respectful. I know when I was, even I'm 51, even now, my mom's not married, she's divorced now. But when she was married, and she wasn't married. She was married to my dad, as I've said in many videos before, that I, my mom, my dad, they got divorced when I was very young. So she's been married a few times since then, okay? So, of course there have been a few that I didn't like. One in particular, I couldn't stand. And we had words back and forth, you know. I was like, in college, I was grown, but I had one son at the time I had one child. No, I don't think I had any children at that time. I didn't have any children at that time at all. And I didn't too much care for him at all, on it. I sure didn't. I love that to be known. But looking back, I realized, you know, it wasn't like we came to blows. I didn't curse nobody out. You know, I just swapped mouth. I didn't like him too much, you know. I was in college, so I didn't have to stay there. But I did go stay with my mom when I got out of college during the summertime, during the holidays, and stuff like that. Until I eventually, you know, got my own place, had my own child, and my own children, and got married or whatever. But, and I think about that now, I say, you know, I, I wish I wouldn't have, you know, kind of did that because I'm, I'm I'm sure it probably was stressful and strainful on her to know that the man she, and she it was married to him too for a short period of time, but she was married to him. And that the man she cared for or loved or whatever, um, and had a relation with, didn't get along with, I didn't get along with him, I can't say, you know. With him he tried to you know make amends but he never tried anything to touch me and nothing like that y'all and i know that goes on but that wasn't the case for us at all i thank god of that because the trial hmm. no he wasn't like that i just thought he was sorry and for us not working and she working all the time stuff like that y'all that what i didn't like but he, he, he proved to be all right to end, you know? I don't know. But my, my thing is, I may have should have, you know, as long as he wasn't beating on her, as long as he wasn't, you know, on no drugs and all types of stuff like crazy, and trying to touch me or, or bringing any women over there to my mom's house, you know, I could I should have been a little more respectful. And one of the things I may have said to him or whatever, I can't even recall what I said. I just know I didn't care for him and I know I let him know. You know, I was like, I was more so a smart mom, you know, a talk back or whatever. But I was kind of grown, so I don't, I can't remember what it could have been that he would have said for me to talk back on. I don't, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I just remember me not liking me. That's what I remember. Um, I say all this to say that. Now I'm married and I have a son, I have a daughter. They're not for my husband. You know, that. They don't not get along, but they're not like, you know, if my son is called, my son and my daughter, they don't call him dad or anything like that. So, and they don't have to, they grown, you know, but when I met my husband, my daughter was seven and my son was like 15, no 14, because my son and my daughter are seven years apart. So when they, when I was, uh, met my husband, I mean, when I met Carl, AKA Bernie Mac to me sometimes, they were very young, like I say, uh, 14 and seven. I'm sure. And Carl is very good with kids, something like that, but it can be a strain. It can be a strain on your marriage or your relationship. Even if you, you know, even with your in-laws, you know, if they, his sisters and brothers, they don't just care for you, it, it can just be a strain, you know? But I just remember me being a small mom back then, and, and I thank God my son or my daughter have not displayed any of those things toward him. But I, I think about the young boy, Gabriel, his mother was in a relationship, but he was just eight years old at the time of his passing. And I'm, ass I'm assuming that they had been together for a while. The mom and the, and the boyfriend had been together for, for a while. And for him, and I don't know if she had any of the kids, any of the kids. 
because I'm not through watching the documentary. I don't know if she had any kids for the boyfriend or not. I don't know. But I just know I couldn't be with anyone, married or not, uh, if they put their hands on my son or my daughter in a way where it's so hard, you know, so hard, some, something I sure wouldn't do. You know, it's just, mm -mm. if they were like, too hard on them, like whooping them and stuff like that, or if they don't like come to me and ask me, you know, that's something we used to sit, up, sit down and talk to, talk about before you get married. Okay, I got kids, I got, I got, you got kids, okay. Do you agree if I spank them or stuff like that? You know, or stuff like that. Do you agree if I punish them? You know, those types of conversations should be had, you know, before you go to the next step in a relationship, I, I believe, you know. And then sometimes you can have those conversations before you go to the next step and people can still overstep their bounds when you get to the next step. When you get married, they want to say, oh, I'm married and I can do what I want to do. You know, no, you can't do that, you know, because then you can cause some problem between me and you, but that's not what we discuss, you know. And everybody ain't the same. Some people don't care about the other person, you know, discipline or saying anything with their grown or not having a word of conversation to their child. I feel like if you're going to talk to, um, like my son and my daughter, they're grown, or even if they're young adults, if they're teenagers or, you know, little kids, you ought to be able to know, you should know how to talk to talk to people on their level, you know. You know, if you got a problem with them or whatever, you go discuss it with the uh, the spouse of the, the parent of that particular child. You, you can talk it with, out with their spouse first and then see what they say, and then y'all can come to an agreement together on how to handle it. You know, communication is key with any and everything, y'all. It really is. Communication is key. In all things. So, I'm just the type of person, I am I can be confrontational if need be. Not if I want to. No, no, if I need to be. But, because some people like to be confrontational just because, you know, this is show, just to throw their weight around. Mm -mm. No, I ain't like that at all, but... You know, you ought to be able to know how to talk to people in love and still get your point across if something that they've done that you don't agree with after you've talked, after you've talked to your spouse about it. You know, whether it's, whether it's your spouse, my husband having the kids, whether it's his sisters or his brother or his like nephews and nieces or whatever. You know, I, if I have, and there has been times where I've disagreed with some things in his family and I would have gone gone to talk to him about it, then I can go to them and love about it. I go to them love, and I, even if I'm mad, I mean, I know how to control myself, you know, and vice versa. I think my husband knows how to, but I thank God that nothing has happened where it's like my family can't be, they can't be around each other. You know, they have to put their hands on each other, you know, mm -mm. and I thank God for that, but every family ain't like that. Obviously, with that Gabriel, well, not with that Gabriel, I'm sorry, with Gabriel's, Gabriel Hernandez's situation with his parents, his mother, because the man wasn't his father. And that, that makes me so angry every time I think about it because he was just so young. You know, he was eight years old. Of course, I'm, I'm quite sure he was a normal, I'm praying that he was a normal eight year old. I got a nephew that's eight, ten, you know, eight, nine years old, ten years old. Yeah, of course, they want to play games and do boy stuff <clears throat> or whatever, but that's to be expected, you know? You know, all the horrible things I heard in that documentary that they did to him, I didn't, that the mama allowed me. It's like, I just can't. You know, any of us a step, if it, any of us a step parents, that step parent, if I was his sister, if my if my brother was married to a lady, which he is, that's a good example, my sister-in-law, uh, Brandy. Hey, Brandy girl, she has her own children too, a boy and a girl. They're not for my brother, but my brother knows how to talk to the young lady, my little niece, and the young man, my little nephew, you know, as the way they should. Even if you disagree with something, you know, I don't feel that you have to be cowardly lying and not speak up, you know, because you don't want to cause no friction. You ought to be able to know how to speak, you know, talk to your wife about it, your husband about it, and then y'all go to combat that issue in love, you know. You know, it should be a way, and then sometimes you should not say anything, really. So, my and, and my brother has made it known to me. He has spoken to my little nephew about some things. But it wasn't to the point where my nephew, I can't stand him. You know, you, you can tell if a person, if a kid don't like a person. You can just tell because I'm a person that study people. You know, not to look for anything wrong. That's just me. I just love people. I love being around people. I like to watch people. I like to see what they do. I'm, I don't know why I'm like that. I don't know if that's weird or what. But I like to just watch people. Not looking for anything, you, you know. Negative about them. I don't know about them like that. I just, love to, I just like to see how people think, you know. 
I don't know it give me a good and go, good feeling, a gooey, gooey feeling inside. That's why when I ride, take long trips, I just look, look out the window. If my husband is driving, and I look at the homes, I look and see if people are outside. Even in apartment complexes, I look and see if they're outside, you know, if they're cutting the grass. You know, I'm just, mm -hmm, I don't know why I'm like that. I just like to watch people, you know. I'm not a people tom. I don't have a people in their house like that, no. You know, but I don't know why I'm like that. Like my favorite cartoon, I know this is a sidebar. Like my favorite, and I'm getting full, y'all. Y'all know I'm Lee Shelley with a little belly number two. When I sing it or say it, your girl is getting mighty full. Y'all, back to my regular, regular talk, what I'm talking about. I had to throw that in right quick. Somebody said, you ain't been singing your song lately, sis. And I had to throw that in for her. But um, I remember when... um. Oh crap, I done lost my train of thought. But I just like watching people. And I like, you know, looking at people's house, looking at people, not at the houses too, and riding down the street, see what they're doing and stuff like that. I just do. Yeah, I don't forget what I was about to say. Once I edit the video and I remember, it, I'll put it, I'll freeze it where I'm at, and then I'll remember it and I'll tell you in, in the voiceover, okay? All righty then. Now I remember I was telling you guys about the Flintstones and the Jetsons. Wanted to let you guys know that's why I like watching those cartoons because they're so family oriented. Yeah, but I, I like, I love people, child. I don't like to see no, I don't like to see no people fighting over cousin people. I don't, I don't like that. Mm -mm. I, they, they, they be my spirit the whole time, the whole night, the whole day, the whole week long. I can't. I like people to get along, you know? That's what I like. Yeah, I'm cool. I can't remember what I was about to say. I'll put it in the clip, y'all. Cause I sure forgot. Just that fast, oof. Yeah, y'all. Y'all just love everybody, respect everybody. Try to get along with everybody. And respect people's differences. Respect people's opinions. Respect the fact that even though you, even though something might look like a thing, respect and remember that it may not always be what it appears. It may not. Um, Y'all try to get more involved. You know, try to you know be be more prayerful. Get more involved in things that you see that looks out of whack. You know, some things should be questioned. Some things should, and then some things shouldn't. You know, we just have to have the spirit of discernment. Of when to do, when not to do. That's it. That's all. And I, I've had to learn that the hard way. And I, I'm grateful that I have learned it the hard, the hard way. Because sometimes life and doing things and going through things hard, struggles, sometimes it, for me, it's a better teacher for me. You know, a lot of times people try, your people that you know try to tell you up front. Oh, I got something to tell y'all too. I can't tell you right now. I'm, it's a good story time. I'm going to write that down if I won't forget. Excuse me. But, um, you know, sometimes people try to tell you things up front. And, of course, a lot of times we don't want to hear. You know, we say, oh, well, I'm doing my way. And then you go back and say, well, they were, they were right. And sometimes you know, you, your person gets mad at you for not listening to them the first time. But, we you know, we can't get mad at that because some people learn the way they learn, you know. You know, yeah, you, of course you want to you wanna try to avoid or you're trying to stop your family member or your loved one, your friend. You try to... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? You try to spare them. You try to spare them from going through things that you you can see your Holy Spirit has got has is showing you that they're heading toward. You know, but sometimes you know people you have to let people just do what they want to do, even if, even as your own children. You know, you got to let them go through what they're gonna go through, hit a brick wall or hit and miss. You just gotta let them go through it. You know, because we have to go through things ourselves. You know, and that's just it. And we we can't be saying, oh, I told you so and stuff like that. You know, that ain't good, y'all. We know to do that. Because I don't know if you were like, I know I wouldn't want nobody telling me that all the time. I told you, I told you, you know, because it make me not respect that person. It make me, you know, feel, you know, it's the type of way about them. But I, for me, I respect the person the more when they, if they try to tell me something in love, if they feel like they let to tell me something and then I reject what they tell me. And then they ain't get an attitude because I rejected it. Oh, they said, okay, you know, they, re they let me be, you know, they were mad at me and I all had an attitude because I ain't listened to them and, you know, stuff like that. And then when I went through what I, then when I went through it, showed enough I went through what they said I was gonna go through, and I hit the wall and they kind of tried to warn me that I did. 
you know, and when I realized that that person never came back to me and said, or any type of way, even, not even through any subliminals, they didn't throw any hints or any type of, you know, darts on the cool, on the low, low, trying to let me know, I told you, Lisa, I told you. Didn't I tell you? You know, when, they, when I saw that they did not do any of that, Man, I had such a high level of respect for those for those individuals. I really did. I mean, and do today. Have, have and had a high level of respect for them. And that's how I want people to think about me. I don't want to be always saying, you know, not always, because sometimes you have to say, you know, tell people things or whatever. And not, I don't think you have to always say, I told you so. I don't know if I would, if I would ever say that. I can't say I ne have never said it. I don't think I have, but I can't say never. Well, I don't think so. I can't recall the time where I said, girl, I told you. And I was just, just, just talking to you. I told you. And it wasn't pertaining to them. You know, it might have been pertaining to something else. You know, but as far as something with them, I don't recall saying it. Cause I don't know how I would say that. I told you so, you know. Not, not even to my own kids, I don't think, you know. Not in that way, like, I told you so. Not like that. I may have said something, like, to my daughter or my son. And the fact what you know, say, girl, I, I felt that that was going to happen. I kind of knew that was going to happen. You know, but if my tone and the words I chose make it not be, I told you so. No, not like that, you know? So it's the way you say things, the way you see it. And then the words you choose also can make a situation a little better, you know? You can still get your point across, you know? And, you know, like the, the young man, um, young boy, Gabriel Fernandez, even though he might have been cutting up, you know, like normal boys do. I don't feel like, you know, it warranted uh, burnt marks and all the things that they said in the documentary, documentary that his mother <clears throat> allowed to be done to him, you know? <clears throat> so, you know, and I understand, like I said earlier in the beginning of the talk, that blended families sometimes can be hard. It really can. You know, when you come in with children, come in, you, you meet and your families are already made, you have already made families and you come to bring those, like the Brady Bunch or the Park Partridge family. You know, I think it's the Brady Bunch, you know, and the man met the woman that have kids already, they, you know, they come together, you know, so you just have to be, be mature and, and be, be, uh, be ready to know that all things are going to be pitching cream. You're going to have some bumps in the road, you know, in their relationship with your kids. Even if you, like in my husband's case, we don't have any kids. But, you know, I, I try to care myself in such a way. I'm the type of lady where I'm not, I ain't trying to cause no drama with my sister-in-laws. Mm -mm. And I thank God my sister-in-laws, all my sister-in-laws love me. Even my sister-in-law that's deceased, his older sister, Cynthia, whose birthday was, whose, my birthday was the same day as hers. Because she was older than me. You know, and I loved her and still love her to the utmost. She was my most favorite sister-in-law. And I've said that before my channel. And my sister-in-laws, Bev and Sheree, hey girls, they know this already, but I love them. They ain't took away from them, but I just was closer to her, <clears throat> you know. And um, that's just how it was. But I just thank God that I've never had any conflict, you know, like talking about, you know, with with my sister-in-laws. Never. I'm not to mind. I mean, I made some be some things I didn't like, you know. But I ain't never had no problem with my sister-in-law. I went to tell them off, uh, and vice versa. They, they ain't never come tell me off. Even my brother-in-laws. I just happened. I just thank God for that. I thank God. I'm quite sure they probably. Everybody don't like somebody for some reason or another. Who knows, you know, but I ain't, it ain't never been to the point where I want to be around them. I don't talk to them. Oh, no. I ain't, I'm, I'm glad I'm not like that. And I know that there are some families that are like that. I've seen that before, you know, but, you know, people just have to go through what they go through, man. And you have to be mature. You know, you got to be spiritually mature and you got to be mentally mature and all of that old stuff, you know. And if you ever was, and if, I'm going to tell you about me. If I was to ever be in it, and I take that back. My first mother-in-law, she didn't too much care for me. Why? I don't know. She called me and my mama holier than thou. That's what she said. We holier than thou. Okay, well, I ain't, I ain't never thought I was holding, holier than thou, Lord. I, yes, I strive to be like him, but I, I'm not holier than him. I might be holier than you. You might have thought I was holier than you, sis, at the time. But, and I'm going to read. You might have thought that. I ain't never thought that. I ain't never said that. I ain't never thought that. I ain't never said that at all. My mama ain't never said that. Well, you never thought that, but you thought that was holy than all, but oh, well, okay. Whatever floats your boat. I mean, to me, that's a compliment in, in my eyes. That means I'm going in the right direction. My mom was going in the right direction, but I, you know, she didn't too much care for me uh, uh, for whatever reason. I don't know why, because I loved her son. That's my daughter's daddy. I loved her son, so mm -hmm. You know, and when you are in those types of predicaments, what can you do? You can't make a person like you, child don't like you. You can't. Child, what can I do? If I ain't, if I know I ain't did nothing to you and you don't like me, oh well. They ain't got nothing to do with me. 
That's between you and the Lord that you get to take it with him because your girl ain't did nothing. And then sometimes, you know, we can't do something without knowing we did. But, you know, if I know I didn't do anything on purpose, intentionally, I ain't worried about a thing. And if they ain't came to me and told me, you hurt my feelings when you did this. You hurt my feelings. I was mad. I was mad as I don't know what when you did that. Then how I'm going to know? If you ain't never came to tell me. And look, I got something in this, this drink, y'all. Oh, okay, never mind. Anyway, y'all, I'm full. I'm full. And I just want to know how y'all feel about blended families. If y'all are in a blended family, and if you if you tell me about it, is it a smooth transition? Or have you had any bumps in the road in your in their relationship that you've cleared that is smooth sailing now? And what did you do to get it that way? You know, those are the types of conversations I like because I love people. I love people. And I like to see, you know, everybody get together and have fun. And, you know, I just like it. I want us to be happy. I want everybody to be on one accord for the most part. That we agree to disagree. It ain't no arguments. You know, and then we keep it pushing. We move past that. You feel this way. I feel this way. And that's it. You know, on this issue, then we go on to the next issue together. You know, stuff like that. I'm just like that. So, I just wish everybody well. You know, I know these kids, these young adults like my son and my daughter, they go through things too. Sometimes we don't know it. But they, they can be 20, they're 29 and 22, and they go through things, y'all. We, we don't know it, you know, so I say cut them some slack sometimes. You know, a lot of times they don't do what they should do. You know, that's why I go to God on my knees and sometimes on my face, and I pray for my children and my grandkids and anybody else, you know. I pray for them or whatever, and, and I let God work it on his own time. And sometimes I might have to step in and say this, that, and this, you know, but... I try to be more cautious, you know, with, with even my own kids sometimes because you don't know what pressure they have on them. They Because I know my son, he don't really open up a lot. He don't tell me a lot of stuff that's going with him. He don't. And, uh, you know, so it just things in that nature. We just have to be, just live life and let other people live their life too. That's it. We just be prayerful and let God have his way, y'all. So having said that, y'all don't forget, no, well, this will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle show. I like this little shirt, y'all. Oh, I'm, I might have to go store this little hole up in him. Oh, I like this little shirt, y'all. Yeah, I like it. For 25 cents, I do. Y'all, please share out the video. Y'all, please thumbs up the video. Please thumbs them up. Because I know that a lot of people, and I thank you again for the 3K, but I see a lot of channels that have like 20, uh, 18, 5,000 and 3,000 uh, uh, supporters and they only have like a few thumbs up, you know, and they have like a hundred some views or whatever. I'm grateful for that. You know, hopefully they grow up higher and higher and higher, but, but I never see like a hundred thumbs up. I know for me, I just thumbs up stuff just because I know everybody like that, but I don't know. I, I very rarely thumbs anything down. This is really, really, really bad, but I know or if, if not, I just don't thumbs, I don't do either or. But, you know, I just kind of thumbs, I give people, people the benefit of the doubt and just thumbs it up for the most part, you know. Uh, I'm not saying you do, that's what I do. I'm not saying for you to do that. But I'm saying once you see the content and you like what it's about, just just thumbs it up for, for us, for us. Just thumbs up the video and let YouTube know that we're doing the best we can. We're doing a good job for right now with what we have. And they can recommend us more and more and more. And we can get more and more of these shillings, okay? So, this will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Share on every social media platform and subscribe so that you can become an official Lee Shelley in. And ding dong ding. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Click up so that you can be reminded of every, every time your girl uploads a bit. D.O. Okay, be quick with it. La 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 la. All right, Lee Shellians, bye. See y'all later, and I love y'all. Peace, love, and lots of hair grease in the Middle East.